Hi, so th this is a an introduction to the new version of Lab 5. Lab 5 is effectively an, a re-examination of the advanced section of the interfacing board that is Lab 3. So um, if you want to read over the EPUB from the advanced or the EPUB of Lab 3 and look at the advanced section, that's a lot of what we'll be covering today. Um, and when you go to the lab, bring the pre-lab quiz results from Lab 3 as the pre-lab for Lab 5. Um, you'll also want to download the document from Moodle called EECS 1011 Lab 5, a re-examination of the interfacing board. And there's lots of information in here. There's a part one and a part two and a marking guide and uh, some special instructions with respect to when the lab report will be submitted. And, um, and then you want to look through part one, how to flash some LEDs. That should look very familiar to you. There's some specific instructions for each lab section as to what to do here, and some instructions about how to videotape yourselves um, doing this. Lab um, five, part two, is a uh, has a description about graphing events using the first.m file, and some uh, details about using global variables, and figures, and hold, and things like that. So you wanna go over that, um, as well as some specific information um, in these steps right here as to what to do and when to do it. Okay, so with that in mind, I'm going to show you a little demonstration of what we mean for you to do in part two of this lab. So what you want to do initially is to go to the uh, JR website um, that you've gone to before to download the first.m file. And that's the one for the interfacing board lab. So you want to get that file. You can see it's right here on the screen. And uh, download that, and you'll be using that as the template uh, for Lab 5. So fire up your virtual machine and fire up MATLAB within that. And then you're going to want to modify some code for the first.m file. Now what you'll see here is a little bit of a hint. Um, as to what needs to be done in one of the event handler functions where you have to add some, some uh, descriptions um, for calling a figure and plotting it and things along those lines. Once you've set all of that up using the hints that have been provided in the lab documentation, what you want to do is fire up first.m. So we call first, we say first and then hit enter. And a figure window should appear and you're going to be putting data into this figure window. Um, and the way you're going to do it is you're going to hook up a particular digital input line and a switch on that digital input line. And then when you, I'm just gonna press the enter button here. When you hit the switch, what should happen is that dots or circles appear on the figure one at a time. Every time you press or release the uh, button on the prototyping board. Okay, and so every lab um, section has a slightly different advanced task to do for this as well. And uh, so you should read the lab documentation for that. But fundamentally, everybody will be doing something like pressing a button, making an LED flash, and uh, updating a graph uh, or a figure uh, in MATLAB. So with that, I wish you all good luck, and uh, we'll see you in class.